the Spyker came on the scene and nobody had seen a car built like that in decades. It really much was a throwback to the, the, the early, early, early cars. And when I say early, I mean 1920, 1930 kind of cars. The Spyker, I think, overall ended up building a little over 250 cars, almost 260 cars worldwide. So it was a very small manufacturer. The company had been around since 1907. They built airplanes at one point. They competed in the 1907 peaking to Paris. Nobody had seen anything like it. It was all aluminum, hand-built aluminum at the time, 2,800 pounds. They grabbed uh, a V8 engine from the Audi uh, A8, and they essentially took the front drivetrain from the Audi and grafted it into the back of the Spyker and turned a, an, an all-wheel drive car with a front engine into a, a, a mid-engine car. You know, they wanted it to be art, and they did. 